Hey, it's 613. Welcome back. Well, most of the thousands who came in for the solar eclipse now gone. But hey, while they were here, a lot of businesses got a boost. That's some pretty positive news. there. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, one of the biggest boosts happened in Cairo. Yeah. That's great. They saw some positive outcomes from the big event and our team visited the city to learn more about how they were impacted by the eclipse. Here's News 3's Waylon Walls Parker with more. They are still in shock two days after the solar eclipse in Cairo about all that traffic that came rolling through town. It started to be a jam from Kentucky all the way to the center of Cairo. Tim Cook didn't have to look very hard. Many people stopped by his food truck for a bite to eat on their way to see the eclipse. Uh, I stocked up real good. I, I kind of expected, you know, word around town was there would be around 3,000 people here. Tyrell Harris works at GNL Clothing. He described the feeling as surreal. I've been here presently 25 years and I've never seen that many people or well, that much traffic in Carroll. The owners of GNL Clothing told us by phone they saw a 75% jump in sales during the weekend of the eclipse. And employees at Shimmel's Barbecue said it was a regular business day. But with less regulars and more out-of-towners. And still days later, locals say they are still seeing a lot of foot traffic with people checking out their town including Jim Fredlin, who used to live in Cairo. Fantastic from the uh, perspective of the eclipse. I just wish that the city had taken a, you know, advantage of the opportunities that they had laid out before them. Cairo's mayor said in a phone call, although the city did not host a major event, they did hold several watch parties, including at the town's library. In Cairo, Waylon Wells Parker, News 3.